Let's talk money. The countertop I busted up was about a hundred bucks and it was about eighty dollars for the material to buy for the, the replacement countertop that I'm getting ready to pour. Um, I reduced the steel a little bit and only put steel in around the sink openings and tied it to the wire mesh. Um, so it was a little less money. But in the grand scheme of things, for all the countertops, I'm a little under 500 bucks, and you can't even buy the cheapest Formica countertops available at Home Depot, um, Lowe's, or Menards for that kind of money. So I think I'm doing pretty doggone good. So let's get it done. I'm Jim Dirdorf, and this is Detroit DIY. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and let's go. Alright, I got the old countertop all busted up, and I got the form, the bottom of the form back up here on the work bench, and half of it cleaned up. I just kind of wanted to show you how nicely it cleans up after it's been used. So as you can see, this is with the cement just having come out of it. I haven't wiped it, scraped it, or done anything. That's where the sink was, the foam for the sink was glued in place. And then this is what we have on the other side. You can see some very, very faint lines where the caulk used to be in through this area right here. But uh, they're, they're hard to see. And they might leave a little itty bitty line in the counter when we report, but you'll never see it. So as soon as I get this all tidied up and I get my uh, foam ready for the sink, I'll be back, we'll glue that in, and then we're going to pour this thing. We're going to get it right this time. Alright, I've got my form back together. I recut my pieces for my sink. I put this divider in the middle so that my countertop will be in two pieces now. So one half here and one half here. Um, and we're going to glue that down with the black, same black silicone that we used for um, to seal the edges. And we don't want to get too close to the edge because we don't want it to it out we will have to caulk the edges of it just like the rest but I will do that later and we'll go over that real quick too so really all there is to it this silicone that's under this foam for some reason does not seem to dry completely but it holds the foam in place so now We'll do this half. And I have drawn reference lines on here so I know where I need to put my caulk. But all there is to it. it into place. Same thing on the other side. Now this is just standard inch and a half foam from any big box store. And I cut it with my jigsaw. After I use the template. Alright, we've got our white cement mixed up. We've got everything ready. I'm going to get some gray mixed up and we are going to get this thing rolling. Um, I did change a couple things with the wire. Um, this time instead of using the 3 16th smooth rod, I opted for some um, quarter inch all thread and I put 
three nuts on it where it's going to be right here in the valley for the sink um, just to give the cement a little bit something more to bite on because the um, smooth bar and I knew going in that it wouldn't really the cement wouldn't grip it um, might be the reason for my crack so we're going to try and eliminate that so let's get going says to put in four and a half um, pints of water maximum but I think it's still a little too thick at that so I'm willing to give up a little PSI to get something more like that me that's what it should be I'm not sure if it's the plasticizers that they put in this or if it's the admixtures, but something makes it more like peanut butter than I would like. I think that's part of what's caused me issues with this product. say it's flowable but after a couple minutes it gets like that it's not very flowable the vibrator is running now and I've already put the white lines in with the same method I used the skewer and the white cement but I've noticed that the cement has, just like last time, firmed up really fast. And in fact, I'm worried about the air bubbles because I'm not seeing any coming out with the vibrator running. So I'm trying to hand pack it to push the air bubbles out the best that I can. I'm fearful that the same thing is going to happen, that it's just going to be laden with air bubbles. The cement 
just firmed up so fast and the first counter the first countertops I poured this never happened so I was surprised to see it happening whatever the mix was in the bags was completely different than what I had used for the other countertops I did experience it a little bit in the second countertop that I poured um, and when I say it's like peanut butter I mean it's sticky I'm putting the screws in right here for the wire supports that I put in for the mesh to keep it from sitting down to the face. Not so sure that it would, but it might in a couple spots. So this is going to support it, hold it in place while I do that. The um, Just getting some more cement mixed up. But when I was troweling the cement, when it's like peanut butter, it's sticky. It sticks to the trowel and, and you literally, it drags the whole cement with it it's it's really strange um what was happening with this with this mix of cement and even though quickrete said i could put four and a half pints that just wasn't enough to get it flowable so i was really concerned that i was going to have the same issue with this countertop and i didn't film the other half of the countertop and i wish i would have because that was some bags that i had bought previously and i had noticed that when I mixed that up, it was much looser, and it, st it stayed loose. It did not um, firm up as quick as, as this other did. So I wasn't worried about the other side when I turned the vibrator on for the other half. It just, um, air bubbles just rolled out of it. I, I knew that would be good. So I'm just not real happy with the consistency of, this, of the Quick Creek countertop mix at all. Um, I played around with some other mixes and I thought about switching. I just wasn't sure that I could match the color to what I already had, um, installed in my house. So I thought I'd just tough it out and, and try to get this done with the Quick Creek countertop mix. But, um, I was definitely worried. So we're going to speed through the last little bit of this and finish her up. cement gets thick no matter how um, flowable you mix it it just turns to it turns to peanut butter really fast um, I'm not so sure if I didn't already do my other two countertops with this product I'm not sure I would use it um, we'll see how this turns out and and uh, we'll go from there I'm going to get this other side done, but it's basically the same thing I just did, so we will uh, see what happens. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'd like to give a special thanks to Tony Iaconelli and Brett Wimmer, because none of this could happen without them.